YouTube, what's poppin'? Y'all, it's your boy D-High. Just wanna welcome you guys back to the channel. Now, today's video, man, I wanna talk about growing out a natural line compared to creating your own line and keeping that line sharpened up just about every week. Now, I also wanna give a big shout out to one of my subscribers. Um, I believe his name is Spooky, Spookily, something like that, man. But uh, I apologize for messing up your name. Now, he did drop a comment in my last video and he wanted to know um, what's the purpose of lining up your neckline if you really can't see it when you grow out your beard. So I kind of want to dive into that question a little bit in this video also. Now when it comes to growing out a natural line compared to creating your own line and keeping that line sharpened up just about every week. Now the way I'm gonna break this down is that there's two ways you can look at this, okay? And um, off of my personal experience and based off the way my hair grows, the main reason why I choose to go ahead and create my own line on my beard is because I have a lot of coverage on my face. So just to show you guys really quick, man, all this up here is how high my cheek line actually grows. If I was to let my beard grow out, I would get coverage all the way up here. Okay, now as you guys can see, there's no growth right here. So I have like a natural line coming down right here. And then from this point all the way up here, I start to get growth all the way around there, all right? So just imagine, if I was to allow all this to grow in, my line will look real funky. I would have a whole bunch of like little hairs or depending on how long I let it grow, I would have a lot of coverage up on the top area of my cheek and I wouldn't have that nice clean look that I'm going for. And then when it comes to my neckline, the same thing. If I was to allow all this to kind of grow out, as you guys can see, my line is already down pretty low. Like my jawline is right here. And then my line comes all the way down to right where it is now, okay? So if I was to let all this grow out, I have a whole bunch of hair just like all over my neck. And um, for me personally, just allowing all that to grow out naturally, it'll be cool, you know, just to see how it will look. Um, but the main purpose for me growing out a beard is not just to grow all my facial hair out. The purpose of me growing out a beard is so I can have a nice, clean looking beard. Again, I have too much coverage down on the lower part of my neck and I have too much coverage on the top of my cheek. And that's the main reason why I decided to go ahead and create the shape and the look that I have now. Now when it comes to a different way of looking at this, of course, like I mentioned before, I can go ahead and allow all this to grow out um, and just be on a more natural look you know, allowing my beard to naturally grow out like that along with my cheek line and my neck line. And of course, like I mentioned before, it'll just grow out massively, you know, but the whole purpose of this is to have a nice, neat looking beard. And again, there's nothing against guys that just allow all that to grow out. Now, the flip side to this whole thing is that for some guys, they're actually able to really have that nice, clean look along with allowing their beard to grow out naturally, okay? So what happens in their case is that, let's say for example, my hairline was to grow just like this, right? It's all the way up here and it grows up kind of at a nice angle. Realistically, I probably wouldn't even have to touch my cheek line, you know? The same thing goes for some guys with their neckline. It probably comes down far enough to where, again, they don't even have to really touch it. So for those guys that's blessed in that way to where they don't even have to touch their lines and just allow all their facial hair to grow out, that's like the perfect scenario when it comes to going with a natural look, okay? But again, for me, because of my situation, because of my growth and how far down the hair on my neck grows and how high up on my cheek the hair grows, I'm kind of forced to be in this situation to where I have to create a nice looking line. And again, that's my personal preference because for me growing out a beard, I just like my beard to look nice and neat, you know, and sharp. And that's the main reason why I choose to create my line and have a sharp line rather than just going with a natural look. But again, I wanted to make this video to kind of let you guys understand um, why some people choose to go all natural when it comes to their lines and why some people choose like myself to create lines and give their beard that nice shape that they're looking for. Now to answer my man's question about hitting my neckline if you can't see it, all right? Now, the main reason why I hit my neckline is because one, my beard is not as long as some. Now looking straight on, you really can't see my neckline until I do this, right? So by me lifting up my neck, of course you can see my neckline up under here. And you can also see my neckline from my side profile, okay? So when it comes to hitting my neckline, yeah, you may not be able to see it too much looking straight on, but from a side angle, 
or if I was to tilt my head up a little bit, you'll be able to see all up under this area. And the main reason why I have to hit my neckline is because again, I like my beard to look real nice and neat. And because my beard is not as long as let's say others, um, it really gives my beard that final clean look that I'm looking for. Now, when it comes to guys with bigger beards that have more coverage and more growth, I'm pretty sure they, they still go up underneath there. And I'm, I'm not speaking for the guys with the big old beards. You guys can chime in on this video and just break down what you do. But just in my head of, of thinking uh, what they probably do, it's pretty much just clean up a little bit of the stragglers that's uh, underneath here just to make it look a little tidy. And again, I'm pretty sure it's not a big problem for them because again, they have a lot of growth to where the hair just pretty much covers up anything down on the neck area because they have so much growth going on when it comes to their beard. Now again, fellas, those of you with the big old beards, man, that have all that growth that's covering up your neckline completely, chime in. You know, I love to hear from you guys on what you do exactly. But with that, fellas, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Just wanted to jump in here real quick. And um, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section, all right? Let me know what type of beard you have, um, if you have to create a line like mine, if you have a lot of coverage like me on the neck or the cheek line, um, or if you're just going all natural. So with that, this is your boy, D-Hyde. I hope you guys enjoyed the video again, man. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And um, definitely check out some of my other content.